motion on the floor. I'll place the motion, and I believe there are speakers to the item. And now we will take the room now. The motion that uh, was dealt with in camera reads, be it resolved that Gary Webster, Chief General Manager of the Toronto Transit Commission, be provided with immediate written notice of the termination of his employment in accordance with the without clause provision in his employment letter dated July 14, 2010, that TTC commence a search for a CGM and the Chief Operating Officer be requested to assume the additional responsibilities in the interim. And I will, uh, I think there are some speakers. Commissioner Andre, did you wish to speak to those items before Thank we take a vote? Yes, I do. Thank you. Go ahead, sorry. Uh, just before you speak, the, um, in light of what was voted on in camera, there has been a request from Gary Webster that there not be deputations on this item. And so what we are, what I'm going to propose is that we reconvene an open mic session where people can come and speak to their concerns and it could be a much more broad discussion about transit, um, or about this about this situation, about any other item they wish to talk about. It. But we will adjourn this meeting and then we will set up an open mic forum for those that came today and wish to express their views around transit in general and some of the other issues that are taking place today. And it will be next door in committee room. Okay. <coughs> and I want to thank you. will be there. And, and I will be there. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So I, I'd like to urge councillors not to vote for this motion. I'd like to urge councillors to do some soul searching about who you really serve here. Who are you serving? You're not serving the TTC by voting for this motion. You're not serving the 1.6 million riders who use our transit system every day. You're not serving your constituents. You're not serving the commission. You're not serving our employees. And what message are you sending to the rest of our employees? That professionals get kicked out the door and that toadyism wins. You're sending a message that leadership doesn't count? This man is a consummate professional. You can rely on him and depend on him to give you the truth. You can rely on him not to lie. How many people can you say that about? <laughs> you can rely on him not to hide reports. Yeah. That's a first. You can rely on him for intelligence and decency and honest hard work. And you've relied on him for 36 years. What are you thinking? I took an oath, as all of you did, my fellow commissioners. Took an oath to do our duty. Are you really doing your duty by voting for this motion? I don't think so. Today is a clear demonstration of an abuse of power and an abuse of privilege. And I don't want any part of it. Speaking for my constituents, I've never seen anything like this before. November will mark 30 years that I've been elected. I've never seen anything like this before. He was told what was expected of him. He came through. He not only adopted all the principles we put in front of him, but he surpassed them. <laughs> you're, you're, you're kicking success out the door. You're throwing away success with both hands. What are you thinking? The signal that we're sending out there is that excellence doesn't count for our corporation. The signal that you're sending out there is we don't care about the people who elected us and we don't care about the duty that we have. What about our fiduciary duty? We're representatives of the public here. The public good has to be in our hearts. Look into your hearts. Try to see what's there in your hearts, in your souls, in your minds. We're not automatons here. 
we're throwing, apart from, apart from that rhetoric, okay? I, I, I think it's emotional rhetoric, okay. But apart from that, there's an intelligence here. What are we throwing the commission into? In whose hands? We don't have anybody. We don't have anybody who's readily available to pick up the pieces. You're disintegrating a commission. You're making piecemeal out of it. We're humpty dumpting it, and there's no one to pick up the pieces. Did you do your homework before you brought this before us? Did you do any work at all? Did you think? It is a difficult day, and um, I want to thank Commissioner Audemary for her passion on the matter. Yeah, I think there's another speaker, Commissioner Parker. Quite simply, the key words in the motion are the words termination without just cause. Okay, so with that, I think um, I'd like to request a recorded vote. No one has the guts to speak, speak in favor of it? I don't know if you No, one of you. I commend this from an angle that um, really examines the behavior of political administrations of the past. This is not uncommon in the sense that I can't think of one mayor, not only in the city of Toronto, but probably in any other municipality across Ontario where they haven't run across this kind of a situation, where there is, for whatever reason, difference of opinions, and maybe even value. I hesitate to use the word value because I, I also think very highly of the general name. Uh, very well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna ask everyone to allow the commissioner to speak. But excellence in the bureaucracy is defined in a special way. It's not defined like excellence in private enterprise. Excellence in a bureaucracy means yeah, the ability to undertake or perform tasks that are consistent with leaders of a corporation. And by that I mean leaders of a city that run across the city. All councilors. There will be time. There will be time. Substantiate my position. Commissioner Parker, you have the floor. Thank you. 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 Thank the ability to put forward positions that are consistent with a position adopted by the mayor. It doesn't mean you have to believe in it, but you have to do the best to your abilities to basically defend the position that is being proposed by a mayor. Whether it be Mayor Miller, Mayor Lasby, you name it, it doesn't matter. Every single one of them demanded performance from bureaucrats, consistent with, with, with objectives they were trying to achieve. And I'm telling you that when that consistency was not there, every single one of them would have done what this administration is doing. Oh. Okay, point of order, yeah. point of order. Uh, Madam Chair, um, the speaker said consistency and performance. That's, that, those words should not be used in a public setting right now. Because Mr. Webster's consistency and performance are not in question. Okay, so yes. before wait, 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 stop. Every, yeah. So I think it is important that we keep our comments to the general, not the specific. It's very important that we not speak about the individual. And I think it is also important that we remind, remind ourselves that this is a with, without just cause decision. Okay? And so we cannot say anything that would lead anyone to believe that there is it's in that context, anything other than that In that course. context that I say, I agree, it's without just cause, no question about it. His performance <laughs> is not, or his integrity, is not an issue for me. What is an issue is the responsibility <laughs> that I take. <laughs> <laughs> so, so there has also been another speaker that's out of the names of the list, and I would invite and I would ask that um, uh, there's a lot of emotion and it's running high and I, I share it. Carry a heavy but, burden, Madam Chair. But I do think we want to get through this decision and um, there are other speakers who wish to make comments. 